Well, they're planning to push ahead with their plan to put about 800 second graders back in the classrooms tomorrow using substitute teachers, even though a lot of teachers here say that simply isn't safe. It's just another day at school for kids at Bellevue Stevenson Elementary. About 800 students in the district's before and after school programs have been doing their work here in person since September. We have not had any transmission of COVID in our schools since we have been doing this work. Superintendent Ivan Duran believes it is safe to bring students and teachers back in a hybrid learning model with safety protocols in place. There is contact tracing, along with hand sanitizer, physical distancing, and smaller classes, but teachers remain skeptical. To expect that educators put their lives on the line to make education look exactly the way it used to in a time of incredible fear and concern around safety is unreasonable. Bellevue Education Association President Allison Snow says 1,300 teachers voted overwhelmingly last night to demand a pause in the back to school program until they can all be vaccinated. It does not seem unreasonable to ask that, you know, at, at the very least, you know, hold off your plans until teachers have access to it. Why not wait for them to be vaccinated? Isn't that just erring on the side of caution? Well, I think because we've been able to show that, again, if you follow these risk mitigation strategies, which is part of the science and the examples that we've seen from so many other places around us, it can be done safely. That's the sound of school, which we all miss. Meantime, administrators are planning to bring some 1,400 additional elementary school students back to the classrooms by February 1st, as teachers hope no one here has to learn lessons about viruses and vaccinations the hard way. Right now is not the time to be forcing a one-size-fits-all solution that puts the lives of our educators and our students and families at risk. The district and union are negotiating as we speak. The union says uh, if the district does not agree to a pause, they will meet again on Friday to determine what further steps the teachers will take. We'll keep you posted. Live tonight in Bellevue, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.